Greetings, office folk. John Ryan here with another board at work review so that you don't end up making one of these behind your desk. We're looking at Aurora, a western adventure on new grounds in GamesNitro.com. Exposition happens. I'm poor. I'm in the Old West. I don't have any gold. I look like Charles Bronson. Wait, Electric Tornado? What? Uh, okay, so I'll just click on you and, okay, I'm clicking and clicking and clicking and, uh, oh, oh god, no. No, this is, this, this is just like... Oh no, not again, not again, I can't go back, no, I can't, I can't pull or push or interact with anything. And no matter how hard I try, I'm never gonna understand the plot. In all fairness, though, for a point-and-click story game, the artwork is great, and the plot's fairly intriguing, considering that this is supposedly the first part of a series. Now, just like in other games, you click around, picking up items, selling them, buying new ones, exploring, clicking, clicking, exploring, talking to people. Hi there. And clicking some more. Oh, oh, sorry, I turned on the piano. Where's the, uh, where's the off switch? Come on. Sorry, man. Let me, let me find it. I got it. It's okay. You know what? I like you, barman. You're kind of like hanging out with Brian Dennehy, only less evil. For those of you who like the point-and-click puzzle adventures, you'll probably like Aurora. The ad is great, and the story leaves you wanting more. And it's especially good that it doesn't have that creepy girl from Mist 4 in it. Thank you so much for believing in me. Thank God. Right then, eh? Aurora gets a 3 out of 5.